Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Here's my project for today. I am using this roll. I got this roll from a good friend of mine. Um, it is a roll of ticket. It is completely blank. Well, it's white-ish. It's white. Uh, it just has these numbers on them and these perforated lines. Guys, you don't need this. You just need a strip of, you know, card, white cardstock. Just any old paper that you, um, that you have. So I'm using these to make this. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? Now, let me tell you, um, I was so inspired by a video made by Tony, Craft by Tony. I'm going to link her YouTube channel below. She is amazing. I love her. Um, and I hope we become best friends. <laughs> I really, really like her. Uh, she made a video all about these and uh, I thought, let's make something similar. I am not using the tools that she's using, but you know... I think we can manage. So, uh, are we going to make tickets? Tickets, let's call them tickets. And let me show you the supplies that we're using. I'm using this. You can use just a strip of paper. Just cut off a strip of paper. It doesn't really matter how big it is. You can have them bigger, smaller, whatever you do. Um, Tony made these from file folders. Go check out that video. It is absolutely fantastic. So, tickets. Now, for background, um, I'm using ink. I have Distress Oxide. I have four new colors that I really want to play with. Uh, I have iced, iced Spruce. That's this color. Old Paper, Kitsch Flamingo and Rusty Hinge. And Rusty Hinge is actually the brown rusty color on here. So I'm using these four colors. Use any color you like, lovies. Um, for the stamping on here, I am using Black Archival um, Ink. This is jet black because this is not that juicy anymore. And I didn't want these um, sort of images to be really, really bold and out there. So I am using a black ink pad that is a little bit dried out. That's it for the, um, you know, the inking. I am going to do, I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of mixed media. What? Yeah, I'm going to spritz them because they're oxide with a little bit of water. I did that with this one didn't really work out but i had some other ones like i tried um kitsch flamingo and that worked much better i'm also using my splatter stamp thingy yeah because i just love it now for stamps i'm going to use a lot of stamps let me show you the obvious thing to do is to use my very beloved favorite stamps by Tim Holtz. This, you could be done, just stamp this on it and, and be done. But I'm not going to. This is a ticket booth. Uh, then you have a uh, correspondence. Love this one. Absolute favorite, eccentric. Absolute, absolute favorite still. And then um, close second, field notes. These all have sort of small words and numbers and what have you. Now, I know, ladies, these are expensive they are however if if you invest in them invest in this one you'll have so much use out of it for now i am not using these i know tony used a stamp set by uh, elizabeth craft designs it's i think even called um tickets it's sold out everywhere i really want it but i cannot get it anywhere anymore so uh, i'm probably on a waiting list or what have you but what i am using is my stash i have a stash Yes, I have lots of clear stamps that I have collected over the years. Yeah. Now, a disclaimer, I bought most of these on AliExpress. Not in one go, ladies, not in one go. Uh, this is a five-year collection. <clears throat> I must say in advance, I bought the, most of them years ago. So I am not putting in uh, links or what have you. Some of them I bought at Action. Some of them I bought in a craft store and what have you. There are some sets in here that are dupes or knockoffs or copies of real brands um, stamp makers. And I do apologize for this. Um, I didn't know at the time. I 
probably still won't know if I, if I buy a stamp set if the original is by a designer. But to not use them ever again would be a waste. So I am going to use some of them. Um, but not fake Tim Holtz ones. Well, not the correspondence and what have you. I'm going to use these another day. So stamps, inks, paper, fun. Let's get started. I'm going to attempt to make three. So I am taking off three of these tickets or just, you know, guys, take off a strippy. You want measurements? You can have measurements. One inch by four. One by four. Or whatever size you want them on. There you go. So I have three of these. And then my colors. I'm going to make one in Kitsch Flamingo. Old paper. I love that one. And iced spruce. The best thing to do is use um, some of these brushes. But I don't have brushes in every color. I use the, just use these brush brushes for my brownish colors. So I'm going to use my... Um, a dauber now have you seen my new system it's amazing yes um i have this system this is like a, a vintage ring binder <laughs> yeah um I put holes in them and then a closure and then i made these yeah these are just plastic sort of inserts in the plastic insert i put a piece of paper then and you can get these from um the website from ranger or ranger probably yeah with all the colors yeah, I put a dot of Velcro on here and then the corresponding dauber on there. Yeah, so I have a cool. Look at that. I have some new spots left, so I need to buy new inks. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, I did not buy all of these inks very recently. Uh, most of them I got all in one go. Um, I bought these from, uh, from the internet a big box with all sorts. So I was very lucky. So yeah, this is my new system. I, I just like it. So I'm using daubers. So I need a Kitsch Flamingo. There you go. And um, iced old paper. Love old paper. Doesn't look... Like, oh, uh, Rusty Hinge is probably on a dauber somewhere. And um, ice, iced spruce. What's a spruce? Don't know, guys. Tell me, what is a spruce? I am missing one dauber thingy i'll find it i'll find it let's start with old paper why don't we this was old paper there you go inking it up and i'm just rubbing really rubbing it on have something uh, underneath lobbies yeah um, you can do this different ways, like have it on an acrylic block, add water and then color it. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm just going to do this. I do want them to be completely covered. Now, Tony, um, the lovely Tony, made these from file folders, old file folders, different ones. Love them. Absolutely love them. Now, file folders is not a thing in the Netherlands, so you can hardly ever find them. Let alone the one she used. She had some that had some holes or slits or punches, a bunch of stuff in them. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Would love to have those. But nowhere to be found, of course, in the Netherlands. There you go. Well, you can probably find uh, buy file folders um, at uh, an office supply store, like big wholesale ones. Now, I have visited uh, some of those and then not even found one of them. Um, but they probably are available. Look at this color. It's like, like grayish. It's like army gray. It looks army gray to me. Like the color of a bunker or something. Something happy in that style. <laughs> That's not a very happy word. A bunker. What well, reminds me of this. And then for a really, really happy one. Because they don't need to be like this um, sort of vintagey grungy. Let's just make a happy one. And there you go. Kitsch Flamingo. Isn't it fantastic? Probably one of my favorite color pinks. I just like uh, the pink that has like the bluish undertones in them. The purplish pinks. And um, well... My absolute favorite would be if this was lighter, a lot lighter, but no, in this color range. There you go. So, we made new tickets. 
Now I'm going to do the mixed media. Not really. I'm just going to try. Um, I tried spraying on this, but this is like a mist spray, not droplets, because I just want some droplets. So I'm just going to put some droplets here and there and see how this sort of works. It works really well on the old paper. Oh, yes. Works here as well. Now I can get out my heat tool. I'm not gonna do this. That will take too much time. Too much time. Oh yes, yeah, see? They do sort of color. Yeah. Uh do I have a paper towel? Piece of paper towel. I'm just I'm gonna just gonna dap it because that's my way of drying. There you go. Aren't these colors lovely together? Yeah. Really like them. I'm gonna have this on the top. What I'm also gonna do is um stamp a bit with this platter stamp in the same color but it will be darker see like so just just add a little bit just a little bit snapping it off and with the old paper just here and there color of old paper no well, my paper isn't that greenish it's more brownish and then the iced spruce there you go this is my background this is the background yay and now i'm going to take out my stamp set guys Take out all the stamps that you have. Well, not of, well, you could do stuff with flowers and such. But I'm going to show you that you can use parts of stamps to do this. Just small parts uh, of them. Because this isn't like one complete stamp. This is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are 11 stamps on here. <laughs> yes, really. It is. So I'm going to show you how I do this. I will do all three of them simultaneously. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pick something out. Um, hopefully it hasn't uh, a, a lot of glare, but you know, it will have some. I've used this one with the circles, the three circles. Um, and I did not stamp it um, on the ticket, but you know, slightly off it. And I really like that effect. So yes, I'm going to do it again, but then on a different color. I'm just going to and I'm do it on, a, on the other side. There you go. See? And maybe, maybe here, let's have two on the top. Yeah, I'm going to have two on the top. There you go. Love it. Love it. Now, also on this stamp set is this small sort of label, very tiny one have this one here on the bottom love that one and then we also have this one with an r and something in it let's see if we can have this one on the bottom here yep yes are we done with this one for now for now sometimes guys um i will use partial pieces of a uh, stamp like for instance this one i don't know if you can see it has this number here on the bottom i really like the number i don't like the rest of the stamp so i'm going to put it on my block and i'm just going to put it on the edge of the ink pad yeah so we have a lovely number now where are we going to put it Ooh, let's put it on top on top of this one See? Lovely. We're building it up. We're making a collage with stamps. Oh, what else do I have? Um, I have some numbers. I have number stamps in here. These ones. Don't really enjoy them, I must say. Um, because they do bleed a little bit. But I'm going to use them anyway. This is a six. Looks fine, though. And a two. Six and two. Just going to put some numbers in. And in this one, I'm going to have smaller ones. Of course, there needs to be a seven in here and a four. 
seven, uh, four, and uh, let's do uh, an eight. Which is three? Well, well, it's uh, half an eight. <laughs> half an eight, love, would be four. But you know, that's just me. Great. Um, I have some text stamps like these, and I just want to put something on an edge. Piece of text. Well, why not? Not the whole bit, but you know, some of it. Am I in frame? Yeah. See, just looks interesting. Can we do something across here? Yeah, also a nice one. What else do we have? Um, I had, where are they? These, these are really, really lovely. These are tickets by themselves. But also has some writing on them. I'm just going to put some writing somewhere. This is upside down. Let's see. Yeah, that's upside down. So I'm just going to have them on top. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep. And then I used this one. I think you might still get this one. This is a splice stamp record life number three, it says. I bought this online somewhere it is from a real brand i believe it says boarding pass love that piece also use it here so i'm probably going to use this on the pink bit now do we have room we have room on this side so i'm gonna flip it over boarding pass thank you it also says Something else. Set sail pass. Set sail pass. Have it straight, lovey. Set sail pass. And then it has these lines on them. These dotted lines. Now you you don't have a uh, need to have a stamp for this. You can just take out your pencil and and draw some dotted lines. But um, I did some here. See? I just want some some lines and maybe have some numbers in between. Yeah. I have one. And I'm also going to have them like so. Just some smaller lines. There you go. See, we're doing them simultaneously. Hoping and that'll work. Trying to keep everything a little bit together. Uh, I have a stamp here that has a little number on the bottom that I'd like to use. Where? Well, probably here. Probably there. I'm just going to ink the bottom bit and then... Oh, yes. See? That just looks cute. It looks really, really nice. Can we put it also sort of over here? We can. We can. Let's see if we can find something else with numbers. Oh, I have a big 12 here. A big 12. This already has a lot of numbers. Let's put the 12 here because... This one doesn't have a lot of numbers yet. The big 12, yup. Thank you, big 12. Um, I have some words. This is probably a fake Tim Holtz one uh, because it looks, it just looks Tim Holtzy to me uh, with another sort of stamp, a splatter stamp. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, uh, wow. I'm going to keep that just in case I lose the one that I use all the time. Uh, this says something. What does it say? Identification check. Mm, 
yes can we do like only identification or check probably can can we do we dare yeah well, i'm just gonna have this on here yeah identification tech fantastic I have more. I need some more. I have some here. I need to have a number here. And I know I have... Oh, what's this? Do nobody knows. Something small and cutesy. Something small and cutesy. That goes here. It says Paris. Oh, that is cool. Do you want Paris somewhere else? Here in the middle? Or can we put Paris like so? We can. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Tiny stamps. This says something. I don't know what, it, but it does say something. Oh, yes. Most likely, this is another sort of stamp that... Oh, that's so cool. This side for the address. <laughs> okay, well, put your address there. this and not another oh that says card postal this is not a postal card love now i'm looking for one that i've used on this one the dressmaker one or let me have a look i love this one but it's really really big but i do want to have some on here somewhere so i'm thinking I just need to ink this bit. So I'm going to put it in a corner. Yeah. And then I'm going to position it. That worked. See? It has just has some text on here. And then I also have this small one, a tiny one, that will fit right in here. It's like doing a puzzle. It's like Tetris. You remember Tetris? Da, 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 da. Yes. Oh, that looks really cool. Do we have another place for spot for this? Here. Yes, we're just building them up. I have one small piece here. And do you want another number? No, but I do want something. What is this? Don't know. Something with a boat. Probably something with a boat. Will that work? I'm just going to put the boat here. It's two circles next to each other. Do we want this? No. 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 No, no, no. Ooh. Star. I have a star somewhere. Where are you, star? It's on this set. Yes, it is in a circle, but I don't care. I'm just going to put it there. Are you going to put it somewhere else? Um, don't put it here. No, 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 no. They're done, love. They're really, really done. Are they? Yes. Yes, they are done. They're done. Do you like them? They're not really done yet because I just want to distress them. Yes. For the distressing, I'm using Rusty Hinge. You don't need all these colors, love. Um, I mean, uh, take out vintage photo or whatever you want. I just, I had this and I want to use it. It does really look like rust, so. <laughs> um, I just tapped it once and then just slightly tapping it, right? So we don't, we don't want there to be any sort of really heavy, bold uh, splatters on here. Just, you know, something like so. So just tap it very, very quickly. Don't press it. Right? Then I found my doorbar thingy. Yes. I'm just going to do all the edges like I would normally do. I am taking the corners a little bit heavier. That's just what I like. I'm not going to do that on all four corners. I'm just picking two. And there you go. And there you go. On the side. And a little bit over here. Especially love it with this color. This was iced spruce. 
still don't know what a spruce is. <laughs> You'll probably tell me. I can Google it. I know I can Google it, but you know, uh, also, <laughs> I'm just, I'm always very happy. Next morning when my video comes out, I ask you questions and you guys, you always answer. So you're my Google. You're my Google. Speaking of Google, fantastic. That has nothing to do with Google, but hey, I love them. Let's look at the end result. Zooming in. Guys, I made some more. Well, I already made some more. Um, these two. Yes, I made these two. And I just found out. I didn't even notice. I've had this stamp for a long time. It even has my name on it. Says Margaret. Yes. Name of deceased. What? <laughs> I'm not deceased. My middle name is not Alice. So it's not me. Not me. So I also made this one. Uh, this one again was with um, old paper. Love that color. It starts out green and then it does really turn yellow. Don't know how that happened, but hey. Um, this one I made with Victorian velvet. Um, I did like it, but I wanted to be a little bit brighter. That, that's why I did the other one with, uh, it says London Bridge. Not cute. Identification tag. You know, what have you. Um, and then this was the one that I made as a um, sort of prototype. I just love it. Number 21 dressmakers and a big 12. And, you know. and then I made this one. I wanted this to look a little bit more modern. That's why I chosen Kitsch Flamingo. And also because I really wanted to try the color. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then this again was with old paper. Because it looks like old paper. Isn't it fantastic? Love it. And then this one. I must say, my favorite color. Ice spruce uh, looks the best, I I think. Um, if you look, the, look at them like in real life, up close, you can also see sort of the splatters that I did. So, yay, I did mixed media. Sort of. Yeah. I really love the parts on the bottom. Because it says, uh, this side is for the address love them so uh guys you don't need the roll of tickets you don't need this just take out a piece of file uh, folder or you know a card stock or what have you and um start making some start making some i need to thank tony again tony thank you i love you i really do you're amazing thank you for the for the inspiration and uh, guys i'll see you tomorrow with another project bye